can I use this device to replace this, this, and this? It's the Philips Norelco One Blade. And we're gonna see if it can meet the aforementioned challenge while we work our way up to answering the big question. Is the Philips Norelco One Blade worth it? Upon seeing the One Blade for the first time, I really didn't understand what it was. It's posited as a hybrid shaver, trimmer, and edger. It's promoted as a sort of all-in-one device, not only for managing men's facial hair and grooming, but it can also be used on the body. So it's a sort of jack of all trades, so to speak, and your one device to rule them all. One blade to rule them all. I, I know, I, I just couldn't help myself. I'm really more of a razor guy, but we're gonna test out the Norelco One Blade and see how well it can fit into my life as my primary shaving tool. The version of the One Blade that I purchased cost me about $38, maybe 40 with tax. However, the same version can be found on sale sometimes for as little as $30. I bought what looked like the most popular combo on Amazon, which included the five-in-one stubble comb, which is essentially a small adjustable guard. And this product had more than 50,000 reviews and an average rating of a 4.5, which quite frankly is good for any shaving device, razor or otherwise. So this tells us a couple of important things. The Norelco One Blade is both widely purchased and largely well received. So I'm gonna do my best to forget about all that and to tell you whether or not it really lives up to the hype. And I can do this simply by breaking most guys' shaving expectations into a few categories and noting how well the One Blade performs in each of the categories. And to start off my battery of tests, I had a great challenge, seeing as though I had more than a week's worth of new growth on both my face and head for the one blade to tackle on its maiden voyage. Yo, what's up guys? And I'm super excited because today we got our first shave with the Philips Norelco one blade. And more specifically, we have our first challenge. And this time, We've definitely made it real challenging because as you can see, I got a nice layer of thick growth here and this is totally uncharted territory for me because I'm really not a shaver guy, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and let's get after it. The one blade performed well, even though it wasn't a one stroke removal, it was good enough. And once I found out that I could shave multi-directionally with the shaver, something that's a big no-no for me with the razor, and take advantage of both edges of this trimmer, I found that it shaved the thick layer of hair better than adequately. Challenge accepted by the Norelco one blade. And I wanted to see if it could shave the kind of thick hair on all of my head and it did a great job. And I gotta admit, I'm a little surprised how well this little $37 device actually performed. The next challenge was how well does the one blade perform as an edger and how good can you draw lines with it? I didn't think it had done a great job at drawing lines initially, but as I've had a little time, the lines that I drew for my beard aren't perfect, aren't my best, but considering the first time I used this device, not bad at all. Once again, I felt the Norelco One Blade performed better than adequately. And once I got the feel for it and learned to watch the end of the blade, I found the device quite adept at drawing lines. For me, it was a pretty good liner, even though I messed up my beard anyway and kind of shaved it too far down. So I'm rocking the shaft beard. That dude was real, he think it was me. But it's by no means the fault of the chisel and all the blame rests squarely on the shoulders of the sculptor. 
Now it's time to test out the one blade stubble comb and to see how well it performs as a trimmer. So now we got the Norelco one blade guard attached and we're going to see if we can use this device to go ahead and blend in my sideburns right here. So let's see how well it does with the attachment. Here is where I feel that the performance of the one blade really wasn't so great. And it's a good thing that they call it a stubble cone because the one blade could only be your only device if you either have no facial hair or wear your facial hair very, very, very short. So no, I didn't find that the stubble comb was particularly useful. So when we look at the one blade's ability to replace the following devices, I found that, can the one blade replace my razor? Well, yes, it could. Now, I'm not saying that it shaves better than a razor, but functionally, it can get the job done. I'm going to warn you, also, it's not the closest shave, but it's good enough. Can the one blade replace my liners slash edgers or whatever it is that you want to call them? And once again, the answer is yes, it could. I actually thought the one blade excelled in this category, and for me, they were pretty good liners. Now, can the one blade replace my hair clippers or whatever it is that you use to trim the length of your hair? And this is where the one blade fell short. And honestly, I think for most guys that have facial hair, the facial hair is gonna require something a little bit more hardy than what the one blade has to offer. Here, I will note there is a pro version that's a little bit more expensive and has a larger stubble comb with more variable length. But I can attest to how more or less effective it is. And now, quickly, we have to talk about speed. I don't think the one blade is necessarily any faster than lathering up and shaving, but what it is, is more convenient. It can be used wet or dry, with or without shaving cream. But what I find most useful about it is I don't need any of that stuff and I really just need the one blade alone. And for me, shaving is usually a three-step process. First, I have to trim my beard, then I line up the beard, and lastly, I shave. But what I find is that the one blade shaves better than my edgers and lines better than my razor. And ultimately, it does both tasks well enough to get by, thus turning that three-step process into a two-step process. Hey guys, it helps to have more than just one man's opinion. So if you have experience with the Noroka one blade, hop in the comments, let us know what you think. Before we get to my thoughts, let's do exactly that and get a second opinion. Well, in this case, it'd be first opinion, but you know what I mean. You're looking good, brother. Not as good as you, my man. And never have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always think it's helpful to have more than one opinion. And I know that you have a Norelco One Blade. Why don't you tell the people what you think? The Norelco One Blade, um, it was actually a pretty cool experience tried it out and for what it's worth for the price that it is it's actually a pretty cool shave i won't say it's as close as like you know uh some of the other razors that we've talked about in the past but for something that's just you know one little handy device you can use it wet you can use it dry you can just kind of trim yourself up real quick i, I enjoyed it so the big question is it worth it? Oh yeah, absolutely. It's definitely worth it. Like hands down, perfect for somebody who is kind of nervous about using uh, a razor. But I would recommend it for, you know, some of the younger cats out there who are starting to get started in the shaving and don't want to get all cut up. And you know, you know, <laughs> you don't want that, you know, the willy, willy lump lump face where you're cutting in the wrong direction. I've been shaving with the Norelco One Blade for multiple weeks now, and I think for most guys, it would be something useful to have in the arsenal. Even for guys that prefer a razor, I think that the One Blade is versatile enough that it would still get used, at least occasionally. And I'm not talking about the sort of item that just takes up space and you use it every now and then just because it's there. 
I'm talking about genuine utility usefulness that makes it worthy of the space that it takes up. It's been nearly a month with just me and this thing. Do I miss my razor? Honestly, no. Just using the one blade has been fine. Do I prefer it to my razor? Well, that's a different question altogether. And nothing gives you quite a baby smooth shave like a razor, but if you just need something to get by, again, good enough. I really think the sweet spot for this device right here is traveling and those little touch-ups that happen in between shaves. And you'd really be surprised how useful that is when you have a device that can do it conveniently. Now, as far as the replacement blades are concerned, I had to say I got a lot of mileage out of just one replacement blade. Now, Philips Norelco claims that a replacement blade can last up to four months. And personally, I don't think they last anywhere near that long. But what I can attest to that as far as price, and longevity are concerned, the one blade replacements can stand up to any cartridge razor out there. And really in the long run, I think using the one blade, it's gonna be cheaper, quite a bit cheaper actually. Now, as far as the charging is concerned, I can get about two full shaves safely out of one charge with the one blade. But for me, remember, this includes lining, shaving my face, and shaving a lot of surface area with my head. So I think for a lot of guys that are just shaving their face or for somebody that's quicker with it, you might be able to get a little bit more bandwidth than what I get. Um, so in my opinion, it's not great, but also not bad. So to move on to the big question, do I think the Philips Norelco One Blade is worth it? And that's an easy one for me. And that answer is yes. As a matter of fact, with this device for the first time on this channel, I'm even gonna take it a step further and say, I recommend the Norelco One Blade and I think most guys would benefit from owning one. So remember, I'm not out here trying to spend your money. I'm out here trying to help you out. Thanks so much for rocking with me till this point. Until the next one, fitness and beer. Get, get out of here. Uh.